One of the top priorities for making people healthier in our country is making SNAP healthier. SNAP is the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, which was formerly known as food stamps. Right now, it helps prevent hunger in 40 million Americans, but we can make it even stronger. We can make it even stronger to help reduce the risk of chronic disease. People on SNAP are two times more likely to die of heart disease and three times more likely to die of diabetes than people not on SNAP. And so clearly, uh, while this is a, a crucial program for preventing hunger, we also need to make it a crucial program for making people healthier. And to address this, we looked at a range of potential policy options here. And actually, the one that really stood out, we're calling SNAP Plus. In SNAP Plus, the government would give a 30% subsidy for fruits, for vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and fish. At the same time, to help pay for that, there would be a series of unhealthy foods that people on SNAP could still buy, but they would get 30% less for their dollar. In doing so, we would preserve choice, but really kind of nudge people towards healthier eating. What was remarkable about this program is it saved lives. It saved about a million cardiovascular events over a lifetime of SNAP participants. It gained about two and a half million healthy life years, so two and a half million more years of healthy life. And it saved money. It saved $60 billion, we estimated, uh, in healthcare costs and other government costs. And so it's really win-win. It makes some of the most at-risk populations in our country healthier, and it saves money. So what I'd like to see is all of the different options for healthier SNAP actually tested uh, in the states to see what works the best, what's most acceptable to SNAP participants, and what improves health the most.